I'm Paw Daddy from Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today it's all about chicken wings. Now, there are many approaches to cooking up chicken wings. Today, we're going to be combining a couple of these methods, and by combine, I mean we're going to start them off on the smoker and then finish them on the grill. The absolute best of two worlds. I have two five pound bags of chicken wings, and I'll process these one bag at a time. After opening the bag, I'll dump them into a stainless steel bowl and I'll take out several of the wings and dry them off with paper towels. Now, I like to remove those wing tips and then separate the flats from the drummies, but you may prefer to leave them whole. There's nothing wrong with that. It just comes down to your personal preference. I like to lay them out on baking racks and the baking racks are sitting on baking sheets that are foil wrapped. I'm drying them one more time as they're going on to the baking rack. My goal is to get five pounds of wings laid out on two baking racks. Dirty little secrets that I only have two baking racks, so this would be the limiting factor. If not for the fact that my char griller Acorn Kamado has a practical capacity of about one bag of these wings at a time. Now after the wings are laid out, spray them with Pam. Yes, cooking spray. Pam consists mainly of canola oil, and that's gonna help crisp up the wings. So now I'm seasoning them with John A. Adams Mesquite Chicken Rub, and this is my go-to chicken rub. Now the first leg of the cook is going to be in my smoker, my Yoder YS 1500 at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that smoker's up to temp, It'll only take 30 to 45 minutes to get the wings up to a temperature range of about 150 to 165 degrees. Now on my particular setup, I'm just gonna set the baking racks in with the wings on the top shelf and I'll place the foil covered baking pan or the baking sheets underneath the bottom shelf. They make an excellent drip tray. Now while these wings are smoking, I need to get my charcoal ready for my Char Griller Acorn Kamado. The acorn will be set up using a low profile foil covered baking sheet as a heat diffuser and as a drip pan. It's a perfect fit for this Kamado. Now when those smoke wings get up to 150 to 165 degree range, then they need to be transferred directly onto the grill surface. Of course, when you're cooking chicken wings on your grill, they need to be frequently turned. The grill lid can be closed for a short period of time, and the full covered baking sheet also helps to protect the wing from the direct heat. Now, when the wings come off the grill, I'm holding them in a full covered pan at 150 degrees Fahrenheit in my Cook Shack electric smoker, and of course, that's with no smoke just using it as an oven. 150 degrees is a food safe temperature that will keep the wings delicious and ready to serve. Now I need to get that second bag cut up and seasoned. The remaining wings get the Pam cookie spray and a light coat of the chicken rub and then a good coating of my blind hog rub. And this is where you'll use your favorite barbecue rub. There's a link to a video on how to make my rub and it's right up here. Now smoke them just like before. And while this group is smoking, we need to make up my favorite barbecue sauce blend because we're going to sauce some of these wings. Add one bottle of Stubbs Original Barbecue Sauce and then add in one bottle of Bullseye Barbecue Sauce. Mix about two good tablespoons of minced garlic and mix it up and then you're ready to go. Now, as before, we're smoking to 150 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit and then on to the grill. Now the only difference is we're going to sauce these wings on both sides as soon as they hit that grill. Grill to 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, just like before. And once again, you can hold them at 150 until you're ready to serve, or you can eat them as soon as they're cool enough for you. Let's give them a try. These plain wings can stand on their own, or also they go great with barbecue sauce or, or buffalo dipping sauce. But guys, this is a barbecue channel and my absolute favorite wing are the sauce wings. This combo of smoking and grilling the wings is a great way to up your barbecue game for sure. Now be sure and hit that like button on your way out. Consider subscribing and hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>